Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When it comes to chip manufacturing, lithography machines are an unavoidable topic. This machine, known as the most sophisticated machine in history, has long been firmly in the hands of ASML of the Netherlands. However, recent news is eye-opening. SMIC has begun testing a domestically produced DUV lithography machine. According to US tech media outlet Tom's Hardware, leading Chinese chipmaker SMIC has recently begun testing a deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machine developed by Shanghai startup Yuliangsheng. According to publicly available information, the hardware level of Yuliangsheng's DUV lithography machine is similar to ASML's NXT 1950i, launched in 2008. Theoretically, a single exposure can support chip manufacturing at 22 nanometers and above. However, in practical application, multiple exposure technology must be combined with process optimization to further reduce process node size. Currently, this equipment is still in the testing phase at SMIC, and its mass production capacity and yield rate remain to be verified. When it comes to lithography machines, ASML, the giant, cannot be ignored. ASML, leveraging its technological advantages in high-end lithography machines, held a 61.2% share of the global lithography machine market in 2024. This was particularly true for EUV lithography machines, where ASML was the sole global supplier. However, ASML's attitude toward China has become increasingly hostile. On September 6, the Dutch government announced new regulations regarding the export of ASML's immersion DUV lithography machines, requiring ASML to apply for an export license from the Dutch government starting September 7 before shipping its TwinScan NXT, 1970i and 1980i DUV lithography machines. In addition, the United States issued new export control rules on October 17, 2023, restricting the shipment of specific models of mid- to high-end DUV, deep ultraviolet, immersion lithography machines to certain advanced chip manufacturing fabs. Simply put, the US is behind the scenes pressuring the Dutch government to prevent ASML from selling its products to China. Even more egregious, in September 2024, under pressure, ASML announced it would no longer provide after-sales repair services for DUV lithography machines purchased specifically for China. This has objectively accelerated the pace of independent research and development in China's semiconductor industry. Through its own innovation and the collaboration of various industries, China is gradually overcoming technological challenges and enhancing the core competitiveness of its semiconductor industry. To understand the significance of this breakthrough in Chinese lithography, we must first understand the true power of immersion technology. Looking back in history, the world's first immersion lithography machine was the TwinScan XT 1250i, released by ASML in 2003. At the time, however, no one was quite skeptical of this new technology, and only TSMC dared to be the first to take the plunge. What was the result? At the end of 2004, TSMC began small-scale deliveries of 90 nanometers chips manufactured using this machine, laying the foundation for its subsequent technological accumulation and market expansion in advanced process technologies. In 2008, ASML launched the TwinScan NXT 1950i, the benchmark product mentioned at the beginning of this article. This device supports multipatterning technology, enabling the production of more advanced chips. Since then, immersion lithography has become the mainstream equipment for chip manufacturing. When it comes to the core technologies of immersion lithography, multipatterning is undoubtedly one of the key technologies for advanced chip manufacturing. The wavelength of the light source of a DUV lithography system is 193 nanometers and the physical limit of the metal half pitch for a single exposure is 40 nanometers. To manufacture advanced chips of 7 nanometers and below, 
this value must be reduced to 30 nanometers, or even below 20 nanometers. Multipatterning technology is the key to achieving this goal. Joe's Benshop, ASML's Senior Vice President of Technology, once said, multipatterning technology improves the productivity of immersion systems, which is crucial for cost-effectiveness. In an industry where time is money, you need to ensure that immersion lithography systems are consistently efficient. In the lithography industry, technology, efficiency, and yield are interrelated and mutually reinforcing. Technology is like the foundation, creating the conditions for improved efficiency and yield. Efficiency and yield are the concrete manifestations of the value inherent in technology and are also crucial factors for lithography systems to succeed in the market. From a technological perspective, if this Chinese device truly reaches the level of ASML's 2008 NXT, 1950i, it would be a significant advancement. However, ASML has not stopped its progress. Its most advanced immersion lithography system is the NXT, 2150i. This device is also a third-generation upgrade of the NXT, 2000i. According to industry experts, Chinese companies' advanced equipment will require several years of refinement. They must first address the challenges of manufacturing 28 nanometers chips, then master the 14 nanometers process with thin FET structures. Only after these are achieved can they move on to manufacturing 7 nanometers chips using multipatterning technology. According to normal timelines, clear results wouldn't be available until 2030 at the earliest. 2030 coincides with the end of China's current 15th five-year plan, and this timing is no coincidence. Overall, the news that SMIC is testing its domestically produced DUV lithography equipment is indeed worthy of attention and encouragement. After all, achieving a breakthrough from zero to one is often the most difficult. With this initial start, while the road ahead is still long, at least the direction is right. However, China must remain clear-headed. Technological breakthroughs don't happen overnight. They require time, capital investment, and more importantly, the coordinated development of the industry chain. Throughout this process, various technical difficulties and market challenges may arise. Whether we can truly break the technological blockade and achieve independent control of lithography equipment depends not only on the technology itself, but also on the maturity of the entire industry ecosystem. While China should applaud this good start, it must also prepare for a long road of catching up. That's all for today. If you have any thoughts or questions, please share them in the comments section. Let's discuss and exchange ideas together.